will come again. Today we move to our next topic on algorithms design and analysis course. Shortest path in a graph, dextrose algorithm. The shortest path problem is about finding a path between two vertices in a graph such that the sum of the edges weights is minimum. So it is minimization and therefore optimization a problem. There are different methods for finding the shortest path in a graph. Depth first search, breadth first search, bidirectional search, dextrose algorithm, Perlman Ford algorithm. The choice of the proper algorithm depends on the use case. There are different variations of uh, Dexter's algorithm, but the most common one is to find the shortest paths from the source vertex to all other vertices in the graph. So it is sometimes called single source shortest path algorithm. In this algorithm, a grid strategy is applied. Uh, you remember in grid strategy, the problem is solved in stages by taking one step uh, and considering one output at a time to get the optimal so solution. The main idea of Dijkstra's algorithm is as follows. Shortest path vertex is selected next. Update the shortest path of other vertices. Uh, this process is called uh, relaxation of uh, vertices. I will explain how to perform relaxation. In Dijkstra's algorithm, any vertex can be selected as source. It can be applied to directed and undirected connected graphs. Dijkstra's algorithm has one disadvantage that it does not guarantee the optimal solution uh, on negative weighted graphs if one or more than uh, edges has negative weight. These are the algorithm uh, steps. We initialize uh, the distance of the selected node or the initial node to zero, all others to infinity. Next, we set the non-visited node with the smallest uh, distance as the current node. Perform relaxation of nodes connected to the current node. On the next slide, uh, I'll explain how to perform relaxation. Mark the current node as visited, and we repeat steps two to four until all nodes are visited. Here I will show you how to perform uh, relaxation. The formula is here. If du distance of vertex u uh, plus cost from u to v is less than distance v, then we relax uh, vertex v. So it's a new distance will be the distance of u plus the cost from u to v. Suppose, for example, we have uh, a snapshot and the distance of v is 12 and the cost uh, cuv is 8. Since 7 plus 8, 15, and 15 is larger than 12, so we do not change anything. Uh, the distance of V remains as it is. If, however, the cost CUV is 3, since 7 plus 3 is 10, and it is less than 12, so we relax the distance of node V from 12 to 10. Here I have an example, and really this example is uh, from this website, codinggame.com, uh, and it's very easy to follow. Here is the graph and the, the distances. Suppose uh, we select initial vertex C, so we set its distance to zero, and all other distances to infinity. Next, we update the distances 
of nodes connected to C. From C to B, we have seven. Since infinity is larger than seven, we replace infinity by seven. And here, the cost is one. One is less than infinity, so we replace it by one. And here, uh, two plus zero, two, less than infinity. So we replace the distance of node D to two. Uh, now we mark C as visited, as you see here. The vertex with minimum distance to seven, one is one. We set one as the current node. Again, we start uh, relaxation if that is possible. Uh, do you see there is a, a path to C, but C is already visited. And only we have one path from A to B. The cost one plus uh, three, four. Since four is less than seven, so we relax the distance of B to four. And we mark one as visited. Now we have uh, nodes B, D, E. Uh, node D has the minimum distance to the current node uh, now is two. Uh, C is already visited. Two plus five, seven. Seven is greater than uh, four. So the distance of B is not changed, but uh, two plus seven is nine. Nine is less than infinity. So we relax the distance of E to nine and mark E as visited. Next, we have four uh, as a current node, since its weight is less than the weight of E nine. Four plus one, five. So we relax the distance of E to five from nine, since five is less than nine. And other nodes are visited. The last node is E. Uh, all other nodes are visited. So we are done. And we have the shortest path from node C uh, to any node. For example, the path from C to E is five, to D is two, to B is four, and to A is one. Here we have another example. This is a graph with seven vertices. And the purpose is to show you how to implement Dijkstra's algorithm with heap maps. Uh, suppose uh, we select vertex A as a source. Now in the heap, we have uh, the distance infinity for all the vertices initially. We have the distance map as well here, uh, in which vertices and their distances will be stored. And the path map here, uh, the edges will be stored, or vertex parent. Nodes connected to A are B, D, and C. So we relax B to four, C to two, as you see, and D to nine. All others uh, are unchanged. We move A here with its distance zero. And in the edge list, A null, B came from A, C came from A, and D came from A. Next here, in the heap map, the Vertex with minimum distance is C. Now C is uh, the current node. C is connected to A, but A is not in the list. And to F. So we relax F. Here we have infinity. And the new value will be the distance of C2 plus 8, 10. Since 10 is less than infinity. We update the heap map. The parent of F is C. Now from the remaining nodes, 
the node with the minimum distance is B. So next B is the current uh, vertex. Here it's distance four. Nodes connected to B are A, not in the list, and E. So we relax E from infinity to five. And we have to add here that the parent of E is B. Now from the remaining vertices, the vertex with minimum distance is E. So next current is E. We move here E5. The nodes connected to E in the list are D and G. The distance of D is 9, the old distance, and the current is 5, the distance of E, plus the cost of from E to D, 3, 8. Since 8 is less than 9, we relax D to 8. And we relax G to 5 plus 8, 13. Here we, here we have to do uh, two things. First, the parent of D is not A, now is E. Here. And the second thing we uh, have to update the list, the parent of G is E. Now in the list, we have three nodes. D has the minimum distance. So D is the next current. We remove D from here to the uh, distance map, D8. We have uh, two nodes in the list uh, connected to D, G and F. Regarding F, the distance of D is 8 plus 6, 14. But the uh, distance of F is 10. Since 10 is less than 14, we do not change the distance of uh, F. Regarding G, 8 plus 1, 9. Since 9 is less than uh, 13, so we relax G to 9. And we have to update the parent of G. It was E. Now the parent of G is updated to D. Next, uh, we have only two uh, vertices, F and G. We select G as a source, G9. The only node in the list connected to G is F. The, uh, the distance of G is 9 plus 5, 14. 14 is greater than 10, so we do not change anything. Next, uh, the current is F. There are no nodes to relax. So we move F from the uh, map to the distance map. Now the heap map is empty and we are done. Here we have the shortest distance from A to any node. And here we have the path. For example, the distance from A to E is 5. From A to F is 10. The distance from A to G is 9. To find the path uh, to G from A, here we have G, uh, D, D, here, E, E, B, and B, A. Here is the path. The time complexity of Dijkstra's algorithm is big O uh, E log V, and the space complexity is big O E plus V. Uh, really, Y log V here, do you see we are performing E operations, number of edges, on a decreasing number of vertices here. So the time complexity uh, is E log V.
Thank you.